Robbie Weeds here. Um, here we have a, uh, looks like a cherry laurel, might be a skip laurel, but um, more importantly is the damage on it. Um, we have uh, here some discoloration on uh, foliage. We have holes in the foliage. Um, it looks like, uh, you know, something's eating it or causing some damage. But when you start to think of the damage and why it's happening, um, this is purple leaf scorch like we've talked about. It has to do with the uh, desiccation due to um, uh, water uh, transpirating and uh, some other type of things. And um, the treatment is just uh, nutrients, water, and um, pruning out the, the damaged foliage. When we look at these, these holes um, and you look a little closer, here we have uh, um, the circle about to fall out and more specifically, um, uh, where's, uh, here we have a hole that's gonna, gonna form, um, and, uh, what that shows me is that this is an insect damage. Here we go. Look at these right here. These are holes that haven't fallen out yet. This is shot hole disease. This is not an insect making these holes. Um, this is confused many times in, uh, cherry laurels and skip laurels shot hole disease causes these circles to fall out and you can see right here that uh it's getting ready to and look at the the discoloration on the center this is a uh, um how to identify shot hole disease it's uh gonna fall out the middle and uh leave a hole that looks exactly like that and people see that and think it's a caterpillar a weevil um any type of a uh, uh leaf eating disease and uh but when you look even closer you can see uh, you can see scale on on there we go it's focusing scale on the bark let me see if I could get a nicer shot yeah you can see it down there you see the white scale the sooty mold the honeydew growing on it so yes this is uh, got a couple different things going on there is insect damage but it's not what you would think on the outside these are two diseases um, both of them treated mostly with nutrients and uh, and pruning and uh, just uh, some cultural care, you know, and uh, making sure the the environment around it is uh, is healthy, and then in turn uh, making sure they're not wet and damp or moist for you know pruning out um, clusters of uh, where airflow of restrict is restricted. That helps uh, the plant dry faster, and fungus doesn't grow when um, it's not moist for prolonged periods of time. So, and then we do find the insect, uh, the armored scale. So uh, if there is a treatment plan, it would be um, safari uh, sprayed uh, either, uh, you would wanna do a root trench. That's how to get it into the vascular system. Um, that's probably the most direct way, most uh, um, efficient way that's gonna get this to at least stop spreading and then for the, the shot hole disease it's usually not treated but uh you know you could maybe use dacanil that might um help it but what's really going to stop it is uh helping this tree dry out pruning it making sure air can flow through it so that's just a couple thoughts on uh you know my diagnosis process when i come up to a, a shrub that has some damage on it all right robbie weeds out